Alright, hello and welcome to your 10th Expression 2 tutorial. This one is going to be less of a we're going to build a thing and more of a I'm going to show you some programming stuff. So, I'm just going to name this functions test because I'm sure as you can tell from the title it's going to be about functions and actually we don't need any of that either. And I'm sure of it this time. Okay, so what functions are is it's like a section of code that you... Um, that, like, essentially it's just a section of code that just, that it runs, um, whenever you want it to be called, and I know that, that that's, that's very vague, but they're pretty vague. So to create a function, you type function, then you space, the function's name, I'm just gonna call this add. And by the way, yeah, it has to be lowercase. So, here, I have this function, add, and now, you see, so this is like, it's like its own, it's like its own piece of code, like this will not be run when it, because, you know, it like goes up here, then it goes to the next line, the next line, the next line, the next line. It, it will, will not run anything in the function unless you type add like that. Okay. All right. Wonderful. So, actually, I should probably call this not add. Um, let's call this add test. There we go. Because that way it won't get con confused about what, what, what I'm telling it to do. So, if I do this, what, well, what pretty much what will happen when I Right, when, when I do this, it's called calling a function. When I call the function add test, it'll go from here. It'll be like, well, where's add test? It'll go up here, and then it will run all the code in here, and then it will return to here. So, for example, if I do print hello world, like that, there, then when I press when I do this, you'll see, or, here, I'll clear it. There we go. See, it says hello world, but when I remove remove this, it does not say hello world, as you would expect. So, but we call this function add test. We're not we're not here to print out hello world. We're here to add some stuff together. So, in that case, we're going to take a, a we're going to take two arguments, which is what they're called, and like this, like a and b. Um, and now. And all we want to do is we want to say, well, what is the value of a plus b? Because it is add test after all. It has to be a plus b. So add test, let's do... No, we should, we should do something that's, like, simple. Uh, 100 plus 100. That's pretty darn simple, ain't it? All right. So here we get 200, which is exactly what we would expect. So you see, that does work. But a lot of times what you want to do is you want to get a value back from a function. So, like... Like, so you know how in last tutorial we did if clk launch, right? Because clk returns a value, so that means when I call clk, it gives me a number back. This doesn't give me anything back, it just prints it. So to, to do that, all you need to do is you type return, and then just like a plus b, like that. And then, oh right, let's get to this. What do you mean? Oh yeah, that is a thing. Yeah, so before, because functions also have types, just, just like these are technically normals, like that, the function also has a type. If you don't specify a type, then its type is void, which means it doesn't return anything. And if you want to return something, you have to change the return type to whatever it is you're trying to return. In this case, I'm trying to return a plus b, which is a normal value, so I need to write function normal add test. If I wanted to return an array, I would write function array, or function entity, or whatever, as long as it matches what I'm returning. So now, if I have, if I call add test on 100, 100, as a matter of fact, you won't see anything pop up in here, or that was from last time, but... See, there's nothing popping up in here, or actually it hasn't finished uploading, so it's not really a good example, but nothing's going to pop up. Uh, that's because it just returns the value, but doesn't actually show it to me. So if I want to get the same behavior as before, I can just write print here, like this. And now, it'll print out 200. So there you go. That's basically how functions work. And the advantage of it, if you haven't already been able to tell, is that if you want to have a piece of code that you write a whole bunch of times, like, I believe I have some functions in here, yeah. I have a few functions in here because what it does is this. I only want to. I only want to have to write this piece of code once. I don't want to have to write it anywhere else. So I wrote it up here. And now, if I want to call it, like for example, I called it once here, and then I called it once here, 
and then I called it once here. So if I didn't have a function, oh, and once here, if I didn't have a function, I would have had to write, I would have had to write this entire thing four times. And even even if I had been willing to write it four times, it would have been less clear because writing if contains is a lot clearer than writing, you know, all of this. Like y you can tell what contains does. It takes an array and it takes an element and tells you if the element is in the array, but it's really clear what it's doing. Whereas if I were to write this, it's, I mean, it's, if you read it, you can tell, but if contains, that's like English, or, you know, almost. Um, so, yeah, functions are great. You should use them when you want, when you can, but you don't use them, like, excessively, because you don't have to use them for some things. Some things are simpler the way we've been doing it. So anyway, thanks for watching, and goodbye.